in second year of college, we had a class called Comparative Anatomy where we dissected a cat and my wheels got turning and I decided, you know, I would much rather be a veterinarian and work with animals and their people in that way rather than practicing medicine on people primarily. So that's when I decided to do that. My, pro my college didn't have a program in uh, veterinary science, so I just went with the pre-med students and I was the only veterinary student there, but I was able to get in, thankfully, and went to school at Cornell. Um, spent four years there. After, if you're interested in specializing, additional training is needed. So <clears throat> uh, after Cornell, I went down south, the deep south, to Auburn. Spent a year there doing an internship, general rotating, and then was lucky enough to get an ophthalmology residency at Auburn University. Spent three years there and then have been in private practice ever since. We are lucky enough to treat all species, but just treat eye disease. So mostly we're working on dogs and cats, but I see horses and zoo animals, exotic animals. So all species except for one, we say, the human. We see mostly dogs and cats, and a lot of the diseases that we see in veterinary medicine are similar to what people would get. So glaucoma, cataracts, injuries, corneal abrasions, dry eye, retinal disease, there's a lot of similarity but then also some very significant differences between human ophthalmology and veterinary ophthalmology. So it's interesting to compare. A lot of our MD colleagues find it really cool to see what we're doing and we learn a lot from them also. So it's a nice interchange of information. One relatively simple medically experience but that was really really rewarding for me personally was working on some snow leopard cubs. They were It's an endangered species. Um, they're very highly inbred because there's not a lot of them so they were born with some eyelid abnormalities and we were able to correct those before the animals grew up and keep their eyes as healthy as possible. And what's interesting is you know when you're working with adult species of some of these big cats you don't get to interact with them in a fairly low-key way. They're under anesthesia, but while they're still cubs, you get to hold them and while they're awake and interact with them before they're dangerous to be treated, uh, to be handled. And so that was really special. That was a unique experience for me. I really enjoy working with, with the clients and see how much they love their animals and what their animals bring to their lives. And obviously, I love their pets. I mean, it's really awesome to be able to treat so many really sweet animals.